Triton, moon of Neptune. It was discovered in 19th century, 17 days after the discovery of Neptune. For a moon, it is fairly big, with a diameter of 2,400 kilometers and a surface area just a bit smaller than North America. Interestingly, it orbits Neptune backwards in the opposite direction of which Neptune orbits Sun, which is not common at all. It is thought that it was once a dwarf planet, later captured by Neptune's gravity. The whole moon has a very similar composition to Pluto. It is as well one of the few places in the solar system which is geologically active, meaning its surface moves like Earth's surface, which can create hills and different terrain shapes. So what would standing on this a live place feel like? Well, it depends on where we land. Upon landing, we would notice that the surface doesn't have a lot of craters because the surface is fairly young. So let's say we land on the poles which are huge. Well, this part of Triton is a bit chaotic. Looking at a horizon, we would see a few hills made out of water ice, nitrogen ice. Because the whole surface of Triton mostly consists of nitrogen ice, and a bit of water ice, so the surface is completely frozen because it is on average minus 235 Celsius, so it is extremely cold because it orbits Sun at a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers. If we were to stick around for a few days in the poles, we would likely encounter a cryovolcano or a ice volcano, and if we are lucky, we could see it erupt nitrogen gas and dust and shoot it. 8 kilometers above the surface, instead of traditional volcanoes which erupt molten rock. Looking up or just looking at a horizon, a blue atmosphere would be apparent and surprisingly we could spot some clouds. Yes, there have been spotted clouds on Triton. The atmosphere is mostly just nitrogen as well as the surface. Triton's atmosphere is denser than Pluto's atmosphere but it still is 70,000 times weaker than Earth's atmosphere, meaning the pressure is 70,000 times lower than on Earth. Looking up at the sky, obviously Neptune would be visible as Triton orbits Neptune at a distance of 330,000 kilometers, which is shorter than from our moon and Earth. But Neptune is many times bigger than Earth, so it would appear enormously big in the sky. If we were to stay for a long time on Triton, well, the bones would suffer a bit because its gravity is 0.77 meters per second square, which is 12 times lower than Earth's gravity. So we would as well wait 12 times less than on Earth. Moving around would not be very easy because the surface is icy. The other part of Triton, the cantaloupe, is the oldest terrain on Triton would not be a very good landing spot because it contains depths of over 30 to 40 kilometers and digging deep into the surface we would find water ice. So overall, Triton is quite a special moon and there are a lot of things to learn about it. I mean, a flyby of Voyager 2, which is of how we took the pictures of Triton, did not even capture the whole surface of Triton, so a lot of parts in Triton remain a mystery. Incredible things could be found and we do not have infinite time left to explore Triton because Neptune is actually slowing down Triton's opposite orbit and will eventually stop its orbit to swallow the whole moon or form it into a bright ring system that is still far future but still not infinite. Thankfully there are some plans to go to Triton with a rover but they are not in focus so Maybe we should focus a little bit more on things like going to Triton and finding discoveries to better our understanding of the universe just a bit more.